what do we have already covered in the partogram? We have covered the fetal information, how to plot the maternal information and how to plot the uterine contractions. Now we are left with the major part of partogram and that is cervicograph. Now we will deal with this cervicograph, this part, okay, this part. Now what is cervicograph? Cervicograph is plotting progress of labor against time. So this is the major thing which we are actually searching for. Progression of labor, whether it is slow or fast or normal against time is cervicograph. So cervicograph is a part of partograph. In partograph, you are plotting the progress of labor along with fetal and maternal conditions. Right? Got it? I hope I have made this thing clear. So how to plot a cervicograph? Now be very attentive. Lots of questions are being asked basically on this part and will be asked in future because it is very important in a labor. So, first of all, I have told you that plotting of partograph starts in active phase. So, what does that mean? Will it start at 6 cm dilatation? No. WHO says that active phase starts with 5 cm. True. But WHO has not updated its partogram yet. In partogram, the active phase or you can say the plotting starts at 4 cm. So, if a patient comes to you and it, she is 2 cm dilated, you will not start her plotting on the partogram. You will start her plotting on the partogram once she reaches the 4 cm. Not at 6 cm, not at 2 cm, not at 5 cm, at 4 cm. So, the plotting of the cervicograph or the whole partogram starts at 4 cm. Very, very, very important. Okay, so this has not been updated. Whereas, the definition of active labor has been updated. Then you will start at 4 cm and there are two lines in the partogram. Now, according to WHO partogram, the progress, the rate of progress of labor should be at least 1 cm per hour. Now, plotting 1 cm per hour is easy on partogram. That is why WHO says that the dilatation of cervix should be at least 1 cm per hour. If it is any less than 1, if it is even 0.9 cm per hour, it is slow. So, the alert line starts from 4 cm and if the dilatation has to be 1 cm per hour, then to dilate up to 10 cm, it will take 6 hours. So, this line is drawn after 6 hours, it will complete at 10 cm. That is the alert line. Then comes the action line. Because if your plotting crosses the alert line, it means you have to get alert now. You have to start augmentation. If the contractions are bad, if it's CPD, then you have to take some action. Anyhow, you have to intervene. Now, for how long you wait again, once you have intervened. Now, if you have intervened, you have taken some action, you can wait for 4 hours. Even after 4 hours, nothing has happened. Now, you have to take her up for the cesarean. So, the action line is separated for how long? From alert line, 4 hours. Because 4 hours is the duration you have to wait. Once you have started the augmentation of labor. Again, I am telling you the augmentation methods we will discuss in prolonged labor. Here we are just seeing how a normal labor is plotted. How a prolonged labor is plotted. In fact, how a prolonged labor is diagnosed and how it is managed is a separate chapter. You just have to know that alert and action line are separated by a distance of 4 hours because this is the duration which you have to wait once you have intervened. Even after 4 hours, if your plotting reaches the action line, it means nothing is happening, take her up for cesarean, right? So, these are the two lines, alert and action lines. You have to start plotting at 4 cm. Then, one small box is of half an hour, okay? In cervicograph, one, this one small box is half an hour. So, this one big box is one hour, okay? So, this is one hour box. You have to plot hour here only. And where will the first plotting start? This is very important. At many places, it has been given wrong that you have to start left of the alert line. Your first plotting is on the alert line. If it is not on the alert line, you will miss her prolonged labor. So, if suppose a patient comes to you at 12 o'clock and she is 6 cm, where will you plot? Will you plot it here? Cervix is um, uh, plotted by a cross. Will you plot it here? No. You will not plot it here. Her plot will be on the alert line at 6 cm. This will be her first plot. This will be her 12 o'clock. Right? After 4 hours, 1, 
two, three, four. After four hours, you will see where she is lying. Ideally, after four hours, she should be fully dilated. But if she is not fully dilated, if she is nine centimeter after four hours, you will plot it here. And now she has crossed the alert line. Once she has crossed the alert line, now you know you have to intervene. Intervene means uh, if she is at a periphery, then transfer her to a higher center with better facilities. And if she is already at a higher center, then rule out CPD. Okay, now do pelvimetry, see whether the fetus will be able to come out of this pelvis or not. If CPD is not there, then see the contractions. Contractions are already plotted on partogram. If the contractions are not good, augment the contractions and wait for how long? For 4 hours. Okay, if after 4 hours the reading is not good, it crosses the action line, it means now you have to take her up for cesarean. Okay, so what we have read? We have read that one small box is half hour, right? This is important. The question has been asked. Plotting starts in the active phase. Active phase means here, here it means 4 centimeter. Starts at 4 centimeter on the alert line. Very important. It has been asked. It is to be plotted on the alert line or you will miss the prolonged labor. Then alert and action line are separated by 4 hours and action is taken when plotting crosses the alert line, not when it reaches because you have plotting on the alert line only. So when it crosses the alert line, the action has to be taken, right. So this is the cervical graph. I repeat, the plotting has to start when dilatation is 4 centimeter. The plotting first plot is made on the alert line. Right, then you have to intervene when the line crosses the alert line, when your plotting crosses the alert line and you might have to take the patient for cesarean when it reaches the action line, right. Then uh, one small box is of half an hour and one big box is of one hour. So this is the cervical graph. What other thing you plot on cervical graph is descent of head, how the head is descending. Now this descent of head is plotted by a O and it is uh, it is the abdominal palpation finding which you are telling. So you have to palpate the fetal head abdominally and you see, so you were uh, doing the fetal head palpation by Leopold maneuver. So fourth Leopold maneuver, remember when you were facing the uh, pelvis of the patient, that time you were assessing how deep the head has gone into pelvis, right. So if head is freely above, it is 5 by 5. Now 5 by 5 means all the five parts of head, now you have divided head into five parts. It means all the five parts of head is, are above the pelvis, it is freely floating. As it goes down, you will plot it. So now if you feel that head has gone a little un inside the pelvis, four parts are left inside, so it's, it is very subjective, very subjective. Then you will plot it four by five. If it has gone further inside, you will plot three by five. When will you say that it is engaged? You will say engaged, so five by five means Plotting 5 by 5 is freely floating. When will you say it is deeply engaged? When it is 1 by 5. When your head reading per abdomen is 1 by 5, it means it is engaged. And when it is 0 by 5, now you cannot feel any part of the head, it means it is deep into the pelvis, right? So 5 by 5, 1 by 5, 0 by 5. Now you have to plot it from here to here only. How much head is palpable per abdomen? Now see in this picture, it will be more clear. So head has been divided into five parts. This is a very subjective finding. Okay, you will learn how to palpate fetal hearts and you will know that with experience only. So when it is all the five parts are above, it is fifth by fifth palpable. It is freely floating. When one part has entered, only four parts are palpable. It is You will mark on the partogram four by five. When three parts are here, then three by five. When one by five is there, only one part is palpable per abdomen, it means head is engaged, 1 by 5 means head is engaged, right. So these two things, cervical dilatation and fetal head descent, you can plot on cervical graph, right. So what are the top points which we have read about cervical graph, revise again because it is very important, plotting starts after 4 centimeter dilatation, plotting starts on the alert line, please be very clear on this, I know it has been given multiple places wrong. Please, it is started on the alert line or else you will miss her progress. Then one small box is for half an hour. Action is taken when plotting crosses the alert line and head is called engaged when it is just one-fifth or below 
palpable right so these are the important points which you just cannot afford to forget